I'm unapologetically me. I don't want people to just look at me like Titiana the social worker, Titiana the twerker, Titiana the turn up girl. What's going on family? It's your girl Titan Moss and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I talk about sexual wellness, fashion, lifestyle, career, and entrepreneurship advice. So if any of those things are interesting to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you can become a part of the family too. And for all my return viewers, hey family, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming back and clicking on another video from your girl. Y'all, today is the day we are wrapping up the year um this will be my last video of 2021 and guys i'm just gonna be talking to y'all about all of the things i feel like i learned this year just reflecting back or whatnot and kind of just telling you guys a little bit about um the things on my vision board and if it came true or not so if you guys are ready to um sit down with your girl for one last pow wow y'all know what to do give this video a thumbs up and let's get started <laughs> All right, y'all, go ahead and get y'all a glass of wine, you know, get your hooker, get your water, whatever it is that you like to do or whatever, because it's going to definitely be a good one today. We're going to get to the nitty gritty, y'all. Um, I'm just going to kind of freestyle this video or whatnot. At first, I was going to do like notes and stuff, but I just want to come from the heart and really just talk to you guys, honestly, just about um, all the things that transpired this year and everything. So, like I said, we'll start off um, just kind of talking a little bit about my vision board. If you guys are not familiar with what a vision board is, it's pretty much like a thing that you do where you put down all of your goals and objectives that you want to accomplish for the year or whatnot. And so my vision board this year, the word that I put up there for it was um, focus. And the meaning of focus is to be able to have some type of, uh, what is it, attention on one thing only. And I wanted to really just focus on my business. I wanted to focus on myself as an individual growing. I wanted to focus on my career and just focus on just having fun. And I felt like I literally accomplished all those things this year. I can tell y'all honestly, hands down, this has probably been the best year of my life. And I know it's crazy because like in the midst of us being in a whole Panera Bread or whatnot and all that stuff. <laughs> if y'all know what the Panera Bread is, it's a pandemic. But um, in the midst of us being in all that or whatever, I don't know. Like this year was just, I can't describe how much fun I had this year. But I also learned a lot about myself. And I went through a lot of trials and tribulations, but it showed me that I can go through so many things and I can still come out on top. And to me, that's that's priceless. Like, you can't beat that. So, um, one of the main things that I wanted to be able to do on my uh, vision board was uh, self-love. And I definitely think that that is something that I kind of embodied this year. Now, I did make some poor choices, I will say, as far as um, dating-wise or whatever the case may be, but I also learned a lot about myself as an individual, what I want, what I don't wanting a man what i want to tolerate what i don't want to tolerate having fun not sorry taking things too uh serious when it comes to certain things um not having unrealistic expectations on people just really really just owning in as myself and being open and honest with another individual so i feel like i've embodied self-love all the way around the only component i feel like that i just really want to just get myself in now is therapy or whatnot y'all know i'm a huge advocate for therapy i talk about it all the time and you girls still ain't in it yet but i will be in it that will be on my vision board for next year making sure that i get in therapy or whatnot because i think it's just important to be able to process and unload um some of the trauma or whatever it is that you've been through in your life because it's just good to have somebody be to be able to talk to especially from a professional standpoint that that can give you some type of understanding as to why you are the way you are and the bad habits you might have picked up over the years and all that stuff so that's one of the things that i want to do but i'm just i'm so proud of myself y'all like if y'all knew me like a couple years ago y'all would be like girl you're not even the same person like i'm still my goofy self but as an individual i have evolved so much um and I truly just thank God for all of it. The bad, the good, the ugly. It made me who I am today. And um, it's just, I'm just excited to see this journey of uh, what this new year will embark of in this ride. My bad, y'all. Y'all can see it, girl. Everything had fell off or whatever. But I'm just excited to see what this journey um, of this new year is going to bring to me or whatnot. Um, another thing that I felt like I learned this year was understanding the ending of relationships and when I say relationships I'm not just talking about romantic I'm talking about uh friendship wise too um some of my friendships that I thought were gonna last a lifetime <laughs> they ended this year and I don't necessarily think like before I was really dead set on like 
being butthurt over losing friends and just certain situations going south and i was just like damn especially when you do everything in your power to um have this relationship and you want it to stay in your life you just cannot break what is meant to be like if it's not meant to be in your life it's going to eventually fade out and um that's what ended up happening or it's just going to continue to be certain signs and things going on that's going to show you like girl this is not for you but you can steadily want it to be for you and it's not for you um but i'd be lying if i say it didn't hurt like people w try to downplay uh losing friends and stuff like that but it's almost like um experiencing a breakup because you know in a death as well because it's like yeah it's severe but it's not to the but it's crazy because this person is still living but you and this person are no longer talking so it hurts like it hurts losing a friend especially somebody that you thought was going to be in your life for a long time or your whole life but um you just have to understand some people's purpose in your life is to help you um maybe at, at 22 like we both had the common interest of going to the club all the time and um going out and doing this and doing that and now me at the age that i am now um we might not have when we're, we, we're not on the same link no more like it's some people that i went to high school with that i thought we was going to be friends forever i don't even look these people's ways no more and it's not a bad thing like if i see them in the streets hey how you doing but i'm gonna keep it pushing because we we not on that same time no more we, we don't have nothing to talk about we don't have nothing in common and that's not i'm not saying that from a cocky standpoint or nothing like that because i'm a very nice humble person but i'm just talking about like when you elevate in life and when you're moving in different directions, everybody's not on the same path as you. Like somebody might be more into being a mother and all these other extra things. And I know nothing about motherhood. I'm not a mother. So I'm into all these other extra things. And now we're trying to figure out how can we collide or come together as two individuals being friends. And we kind of just don't have any of those same similarities no more. So eventually, unfortunately, you know, you fade off from that relationship. But I'm coming to just say that as a way of being able to be okay with letting go of things and um understanding that it's not a bad thing that this relationship is not in your life no more appreciate it for what it was hold on to the memories and take it with you to your next thing so you can be able to just continue to grow as an individual so don't get too butthurt over it um you know of course grieve do all that you need to do but you know life goes on and the people that are meant to be in your life they're going to be stamped they're going to be like uh I, I love that saying by Medea. if i can find out, i'm gonna add it in this video but she said something like um the people in your life that are meant to stay are going to be like trees because they're going to stand there you're going to have people that are like branches and stuff and leaves like all throughout your life the branches and the leaves of course they fall off they go away but the things that always stay around with the tree is the roots because the roots is in the ground they're gonna help that tree to continue to keep growing so that's pretty much um you know how i try to look at friendships and other different relationships too like you're gonna have a few people that's the roots but if you got those roots you're good to go you know the branches in the in the uh leaves they're always gonna fade off but your roots those are the people that are meant to stay along in your life um, another thing that I feel like um, I want to reflect back on this year about is just my business in general y'all when I tell y'all I hit the ground running this year um, with my business now I will say that I kind of took a step back from um, my additional second business with my family which is our skincare business sweet urban escape um, I was the particular person that made the body what is we all do different things um, collectively as a family or whatnot and um, I got overwhelmed I was doing pure romance also at the beginning of this year and it became a point of because me I'm, I'm not a quitter I don't like to quit stuff and if I start something I really try to stick with it so it bothers me when I feel like I'm giving up on something but it got to the point where you know I asked my mom for advice and other people for advice and stuff like that and it was like if this is not something that you don't want to do anymore you don't have to do it and it's like we put so much expectations on ourselves like damn if we don't do this no more we don't do this we're failing but ultimately maybe you've done all you can do it's almost like being at a job and you've reached your highest position now it's like what's next like some people they don't want to just hit that highest position they want to do something more so it was kind of like one of those things where i was just like okay I love talking to people. I love being in front of a camera because I used to do my lives or whatever every week with the peer romance thing. I would go live and I would do like um, games and all the extra stuff, prizes and stuff, all of that. I love interacting with people. I love putting uh, people on to different ideas, giving advice and stuff. How can I be able to recreate that into something that is my own? And then I thought about YouTube and I wanted to do YouTube for a long time, but I just 
you know, I just couldn't build up the courage to do it or whatever. Um, but I knew that I wanted to do some type of thing where I was able to just talk to people and stuff. Because I'm a talker. As y'all can see, I can just keep going all day long. So I wanted to be able to, um, you know, find an outlet for that. And YouTube was an outlet for me. I am so grateful for you guys. When I tell y'all I done ran across and met so many dope individuals through this platform this year like this is such a great space for people that just want to be able to connect with those all over the world like i feel so supported and loved and i know my subscriber count is not the biggest my views are not the greatest but i'm appreciative of it all because it only takes you know one second to stop what you're doing during your day and take the time to watch a video shit you, you took a minute out your day to watch this video like and i'm thankful i'm forever grateful for that because you don't have to do you could be doing a thousand things with your day but you took the time to watch me click my video like it subscribe and that means the world to me so i really really appreciate that y'all um and as far as like i said with the business thing i just want you guys to just be encouraged if there's anything that you want to do put your all in it like I put my all into this YouTube thing this year and I did not think that it was gonna go like this. Like I started this year out not even with 100 subscribers y'all. Um, and I just kept being consistent. I didn't know where I was gonna go with it but I had an idea um, and I just ran with it. And now here I am, you know, my little 2,000 subscribers, my family, we growing daily. You know, I appreciate y'all so much. And I just wanna um, just encourage somebody today like it's not about how you start but it's always about how you finish um it's not gonna be easy it's gonna be days when you're just discouraged and you feel like why am i doing this and i'm not even just talking about youtube just any type of thing in general if you start a business and you're not seeing sales coming in um you're not seeing people sharing your stuff reposting your stuff liking your things um just all of that in general you just have to you have to be your own biggest cheerleader i'm gonna say that much if i could give you any advice on any type of entrepreneur business type of venture be your own biggest cheerleader and be consistent those two things will get you very far because as long as you have the confidence to keep going and believe in yourself and whatever your craft is, it's going to excel. And if you're consistent and you're constantly putting it out there and putting it in people's face, you're going to be able to elevate and, you know, get to where you want to go. So that's my whole take on, you know, my business ventures this year. I'm excited to see what 2022 is going to bring for my YouTube channel. Um, we're going to revamp Sweet Urban Escape, come back even harder with new products and things of that sort. So I'll be doing that as well. And who knows? We might have some other things on the horizon as well. So y'all definitely make sure y'all are subscribed. Because hold on, wait a minute. Let's take a brief intermission. If you've been watching me this long and you still ain't subscribed to the family, yeah, honey. What are you waiting on? Make sure you subscribe before leaving out. But anywho, let's get back into the video. All right, y'all. So the next thing that I want to kind of reflect on this year is, um, I guess you could say like my weight. So for a while, I've been kind of struggling with my weight. Um, I've always been around like 130, 140 my whole life. When I went to college, I gained the freshman 50. Okay, not the freshman 20, they be saying, but the freshman 50. Um, I was in a relationship and constantly eating out all the time, not cooking. Everything just added up. And now that I'm, you know, out of school or whatever, that weight is still on me. The beginning of this year, I was doing really good with like my, you know, I guess you could say fitness journey or whatever. Uh, I was going to the gym. I was eating better. I was cutting a lot of stuff out doing intermediate fasting. And after my birthday, I just stopped. Like, and it's crazy because I remember my mom distinctly saying it too. She was like, girl, why you gonna, you know, wait till your birthday. And then boom, after that, you gonna probably go back to your ways. And lo and behold, what happened? So as far as when it comes to just that, I'm definitely just going to just work on continuing to just try to cut back on things. Realistically, a diet is just not for me. I just don't feel like that doing a diet long term is just not realistic because you have to change your overall life in order for um, this new thing to work. So if you're just trying to do a diet to get a quick fix for two weeks, yeah, it's going to work for them two weeks. But then after them two weeks is up and you go back to eating McDonald's every five days, what do you expect is going to happen, girl? You're going to blow back up like a balloon. So, <laughs> while I'm saying is you have to just make sure that you're intentional and consistent with whatever it is that you want to do as far as your fitness journey. So, my goal for next year is to just um, start working out again or whatnot. I'm going to slowly get back into it. I'm going to start my intermediate fasting again. And I'm just going to cut out a lot of snacking and sugars and different things like I did before. And I was able to lose weight and that worked for me. So, do whatever you feel like works best for you. But that's just something that I wanted to touch on real quick because I know something about, um, you know, just exercising and weight and all that stuff is something that people struggle with so i want to 
wanted to touch on that real quick because that is something that I dealt with this year. Um, the next thing uh, as far as this year that I'm a little disappointed, but I'm not going to get myself too discouraged on um, my body is going back to school. So if you guys don't know, um, I got my bachelor's degree in social work and I've been putting this off. I've been out of school now for three years. December just passed. I was three years for me and um, I wanted to go straight through or whatever. And um, I guess God had a different plan for me, but now it is time to go back. I'm ready to get my master's so I can move on with my life and um, do all these other ventures that I want to do. So next year is the year I'm putting it out in the atmosphere. Y'all hold me accountable. Hold me to it. Write in the comments. Girl, you better go back to school. Girl, you back in school yet? Something because I'm going back to school next year. I'm going to already put that out there. I got to get this out of the way. Got to get this master done so we can, you know, continue to keep um, that money flowing in or whatever. But that's definitely something that I'm a little disappointed that I did not do this year. That was one of the biggest goals that I set for myself and I didn't accomplish it. But I'm not going to beat myself up about it because clearly it wasn't my time yet. God wasn't ready for me to um, go that path. So th next year I'm definitely putting in the atmosphere that that will be something that I want to accomplish. All right. One of the last things I kind of wanted to just reflect on y'all is um, just traveling and just living your life like there's no tomorrow now i will say this because um if you guys didn't know i did have the 19 back in august i had went out of the country well not technically out of the country because the virgin islands is still u.s territory um for the first time and i went in august and i ended up catching the 19 there and it was a horrible experience um still to this day i feel like i deal with certain symptoms or whatever so i definitely definitely encourage you guys to just make sure that you are if you are for get vaccinated you know i just got my first um dose or whatever or whatnot and i'll be going back to get mine everybody's idea on the vaccine is different so definitely do and move with discretion as far as what you feel like is right for you but the way things are moving now i'd rather have it or not have it if i turn into a zombie or something oh well i guess it was just my time but um you know that stuff is no joke and it's nothing to play around with so it really really it sat me down for a second and it taught me some stuff about myself about what's important in life and you you, you got to take things more serious or whatever and whatnot but it also showed me too like i don't know because like this past year like I had a ball like I had so much fun I've been going out and I guess you know that's selfish in a sense too or whatever and I guess that's the reason why I got it because maybe it was a sign from God like you need to sit down somewhere or whatever but um I just want to encourage people to you know just live your life live make the decisions that you feel like are best for you have fun while you're doing it um enjoy yourself live with no regrets um wake up do something crazy okay um get it all out now you know i'm in my 20s so i'm kind of speaking to like my age group but people that are older you know and if you guys feel like you resonate with me too hey get all this stuff out your system now because once you get older and you start settling down if you don't have a family yet you're not in a relationship or whatever the case may be all of these things are going to be a little bit more harder to do when you're not by yourself so while you're still by yourself or you're you know still um younger this and the third and and um no offense to people that's older because you can still do all these things too but i just said it probably is a little bit more difficult to do it get everything out now have a ball if you want to go have a drink tonight and then you wake up the, uh for work at eight o'clock the next morning as long as you still get your business done get your business done like i'm all for it um if you ask me but anyways um that's pretty much it y'all i feel like i touched on everything that i wanted to talk about um i definitely plan on doing a vision board video next year or whatnot so hopefully you guys you know watch that or whatnot and get a little inspiration um for creating your own vision board i feel like vision boards are so essential i have mine on my wall or whatever i look at it daily and it just reminds me of all the things that i wanted to accomplish this year and that i did accomplish and the things that i didn't accomplish it's all good we just gonna move it right along to the board next year um but anyways y'all thank you so so much for an amazing year i thank you guys for everything every like every comment every subscribe every just giving me love and energy every encouragement every hater because y'all already know if you ain't got no haters you ain't popping anybody that doubted me all i, I thank all of y'all because without y'all i would not be where i'm at right now so i appreciate everybody you came across my page whatever video you might have came across or whatnot all of this stuff on my page is me i'm unapologetically me i don't want people to just look at me like titiana the social worker titiana the twerker titiana the turn up girl titiana the always talking about um doing this and that i want you to look at me as an individual or who i am 
and I don't want you guys to ever, you know, put me in a box. I don't want to ever be in a box. I don't want to ever have nobody put me on a pedestal like you hold me to a certain standard because I feel like it's unfair. But of course, you know, when you put yourself on a platform, people are going to judge you and stuff. I already knew that signing up for this, so I know it's going to happen. But at the end of the day, it's my life. You know, when I go to sleep at night, I had to think about the stuff I did. It does. I don't know why it would bother somebody else, but unfortunately, that's just how it goes sometimes. But you know, you just gotta lay your life for you. Lay your life for you. I am not trying to please nobody. Like, you know, sometimes people will come across your page. Well, you're a social worker, so why are you doing this? Or, oh, you're blah, 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 so why are you doing this? And why are you on my page asking me this? Because I'm going to continue to keep doing what I want to do. Like, and you should do the same thing, too. Like, I just, I don't want to be put in a box. I don't, and I'm not going to allow myself to be in a box. So if you're looking for, like, a cookie cutter channel or something like that, that's just not me. I'm just not that person. I will never be that girl. Um, But I just wanted to put that out. Out there too you know for any disclaimers or whatever just for people to know if you're new to my channel or whatnot this is me unapologetically and i'm sticking to it anyways y'all so to close out this video i would like to just ask you guys this question what is one goal that you want to accomplish in this upcoming year i want you guys to comment it down below let's get a convo started down there so we can kind of encourage one another and just talk about all the things that we want to accomplish in this next year i'm praying over everyone that we remain covid free that you are able to get all of the things that you desire in this next year you and your family and friends are safe um all the desires of your heart are able to be fulfilled again i thank you guys so so much for supporting me throughout this year this has been amazing i hope you guys enjoyed me as much as i've enjoyed y'all i love y'all so much if you made it all the way to the end 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 of this video do not forget to click on that red subscribe button down below so you become part of the family because girl if you watch and boy because i know maybe you watch me too you watch me all the way to the end you must like your girl so go ahead and click on that red subscribe button but anyways y'all thank y'all so much for watching as always and supporting me and you already know i will see you in my next video in 2022 bye y'all